Hello, and welcome to Meet the Ancients, Gateway to Greece and Rome. I'm your professor, Dr. Rob Steffen, and in this course, we're gonna journey through 3,000 years of human history. So let's dive in. Along the way, we're gonna be exploring the legends and heroes of classical antiquity and how they inspire us today. We're also gonna be unraveling history's deepest secrets and considering the contributions of classical Greece, Rome, and ancient Egypt, and how they still impact the contemporary world. Let's take a closer look. Oh man, cool, the pyramids. Ancient Egyptian civilization lasted for more than 3,000 years. That's 15 times the length of the United States. And when we look at the pyramids, we're looking at some of the only man-made structures that can be seen from outer space. Let's go ahead and head inside. All right, right now I'm in the Grand Gallery of the Great Pyramid of Khufu at Giza. And what this essentially is, is a corridor from the exterior of the pyramid to the king's burial chamber. That's right, the pharaohs were buried here. And so when we're looking at the pyramids, we're essentially looking at enormous monumental tombstones. But I'm getting a little claustrophobic. Let's head for greener pastures. Ah, there we go. Ancient Greece, homeland of democracy. Now compared to ancient Egypt, ancient Greece was a mere flash in the pan. But during that short period of time, they were able to develop a series of contributions that still impact the modern world. So when you're debating philosophy with your friends, watching sports on TV, or even going to the theater, you're participating in tra uh, traditions that have started over 2,000 years ago. Consider that the next time you're watching the Olympics. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Parthenon. So the Parthenon, the most impressive building in ancient Greece, but its impact goes far beyond the shores of the Aegean. When we look at its architectural elements, we can see these all over modern American architecture. If you look at the US Capitol building, we see the same things. Columns and capitals, pediments and architraves. But ancient Greece didn't last. It was eventually taken over by the Roman Empire. Now the Roman Empire was the only time in all of human history where the, the entire Mediterranean was brought under the political control of a single entity. And it lasted for 500 years. So how did they do it? Well, they gave the people what they wanted, bread and circuses, and of course, the gladiatorial games. Oh man, nice. So if you went to the gladiatorial games, you'd see a wide array of different things. You'd get wild beast hunts in the morning, seeing exotic animals from all over the empire. You'd get executions while you're eating your lunch. And then in the afternoon, you'd see the mortal one-on-one -on -one gladiatorial combat. <laughs> but this is a little too close for comfort. Let's head back to the library. Ah, that's better. Wait, wait a second. That's not my library. There we go. All right, so in this course, you're gonna listen to me lecture and you'll be reading the words of the ancients themselves penned more than 2,000 years ago. And in doing so, you're not just gonna get a good kind of narrative of the way that classical history played out, you'll get a good understanding of the contributions that they made that still contribute to our world today. So journey with me as we meet the ancients. ancients. 